the same you can do it on a piece of paper if you understand it for one element you can do it for n number of elements and that is what these softwares do and a software is about to care okay or koi dikkat batao himanshu koi aur parekhani dikkat dukh takleef abhi tak nahi hui hai theek hai hopefully aage bhi nahi hoga okay so let us begin then and if you well there are some examples in this book which i told you know chandru patala and bele bindu this is that okay so there are some examples in this but whatever we are discussing in the classroom and including examples you will get online also not in this particular book but i will share one with the key is one document with what we are discussing today and you can have you can tutorials later or no sir aap nahi aa rahe nahi sir actually scheduled hi nahi hai tutorial kya baat hai sir isme nahi nahi isme tutorial hai 40 45 minutes ka tutorial hai isme tutorial ke sir technical hai na mera that would be ठीक है सर आई विल डिस्टर्ब देम सो प्लीज स्टार्ट नाउ यस सर इन दिस वीक यू डू वन ट्यूटोरियल एंड आई विल सेंड यू अ डॉक्यूमेंट उसमें जो एग्जांपल्स है उनको ट्राई कराओ शेप फंक्शन ट्राई कराओ आई टोल्ड यू नो यू कैन मेक सम वियर्ड एलिमेंट्स एंड ट्राई यूजिंग दैट ब्लैक रैंड वियर्ड कॉम्बिनेशन क्या खाना नहीं मिला आज ये चक्कर आया सर परेशान किया सो इधर बैठो इधर इधर यहां सो you should do the shape function example and you should also do some calculation for the quadratic element quadrilateral element okay which will help in your exam okay good so is course mein aaj bhi zyada kuch hai nahi first of all it is a two credit course and then there are simple matrix multiplication or if you understand the concept then everything is one page okay usse zyada kuch hai nahi okay fine so let us revise once again so we have a uh, quadrilateral elements and we number it node 1 node 2 node 3 and node 4 okay then we have local coordinates <coughs> So this is epsilon, this is theta, and then you can define zero, one, 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 and all those, and then you have shape function, okay? <coughs> so you have shape functions, theta, theta, right? And one by four, and you know how have we derived it? So we can derive it, okay? So it's my time to go again. so i will tell you now the whole thing is in one page so how it is in one page you have n so then you can describe x and u n i x i n i u y okay when this is two it is isoparametric okay why it is isoparametric because geometry and displacement degree of freedom both of them are can be defined as function of space time okay so okay? yeah uske baad now you have to define strain so strain is some matrix into the nodal values of u so this is for this element you will have u1 v1 u2 v2 and so on okay now you have strain then you can calculate stress which will be the elastic stiffness matrix okay into strain and what is the strain strain is this okay so b into u nodal stress ho gaya uske baad kya karna hai apne ko potential energy minimize karna hai so for that we need to calculate strain energy for strain energy how we will calculate we will have to do 1 by 2 into stress into strain okay so that will be sigma transpose epsilon so sigma transpose is this so that we can write as 
u naught and transpose d transpose d into strain so strain is v into u right so this becomes a strain energy and this you will have to integrate because it's energy you have to integrate in the whole element okay so these will be functions of epsilon and eta so both epsilon and eta are going from minus 1 to 1 minus 1 to 1 okay somewhere the jacobian will also bring in determinant of the jacobian matrix and you will have d epsilon d eta this is what you are integrating <coughs> <clears throat> okay, so if you remove this and if you remove this, <coughs> then whatever remains can be written as integration of minus 1 to 1, minus 1 to 1, d transpose dv, d epsilon, d eta, and this is called stiffness matrix. Okay. Some matrix it is called stiffness matrix. Okay, so <clears throat> well, we will come to that. And once that happens, this we are doing for one element. So, for one element, you will be getting stiffness matrix. If you have, and obviously, you are going to divide any object into more than one element, right? So, you will have this matrix for each element, and then you will have to make a global stiffness matrix to find out the total strain energy okay so for that you will have to assemble the pieces of this in a bigger matrix and that we will do later once that is done minimization of that will bring to some value which will be calculated from this so this must be calculated okay and then you will have another term which will be force into displacement so the work done on the system right and then you minimize that to zero and then you get the values what values you get all those values which are missing okay so if it was this kind of piece which i have divided into different elements then i do all these calculation in each element and i might know the displacement here because I'm stretching it. Okay, so for this element, well, so now I have one element here. So in this element, at this node, I know the value of u1. Right? <coughs> On this side, if this is fixed, then I know the value of u1 here, u1 here, u1 here, and u2 also. <coughs> All of them are zero. Right? I do not know the values of u1, u2 u1, u2, u1, u2 and all inside. Those are unknown. And I also do not know what are the forces coming on this, this and that and there and there. So there are some known values, there are some unknown values. Okay? And those we will be solving at the end by this matrix by minimizing potential energy. And then you will get all those values. Once you get all those values, then you put it in a graphical user interface and the graphical user interface will show you that once you apply 2 millimeter of stretch to this thing, how does it look like? How much strain will come? How much stress will come? How much equivalent stress will come? Whether or not it will deform plastically? All those things can be done from this. Okay, so that's the importance of this. And we will see the software and how it looks like and we will also do tensile testing, we will also do fracture testing, we will also incorporate damage if time permits. So how a tensile sample will break, that we will simulate in the lab part. Okay? Fine. So, so we have done until what? So we have defined this and that. Right? Now how did we define so for any function, if we have to find out the partial derivative, so that can be written in the form of a Jacobian and a, sorry, so we have x and y.
and here in this matrix I will have del x by del and del x by del theta 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 then del y by del epsilon and del y by del so is this correct so del f by del x is equal to del x by del epsilon so I am defining it again wrong so this is here and this is here and this is there and this is there ok so is this correct now yes ok so this is my Jacobian and if I want to define this in terms of local coordinates then this will invert on that side ok so then so that's what I have to do so I have to define del u by del x del u by del y del v by del x and del v by del y ye mere ko define karna hai ok so before doing this if I want to describe any function with respect to local coordinate then this will be this <coughs> right and is it ok so now assume that the components of this j inverse are j11 j12 j21 and j22 these are the components of the inverted Jacobian ok so abhi mere ko ye define karna hai so kaise define karna hai so I will have to write some matrix and then I have to write here what do I have to write I have to write del u by del epsilon del u by del eta del v by del epsilon and del v <coughs> by del eta right so either kya aega? what should I have here del u by del x so del u by del x will be equal to what del u, del u by del x will be equal to del u by del x into del, del x by del epsilon into del u by del epsilon plus del x by <coughs> del eta into del u by del eta so I will have here what del x by del epsilon del epsilon by del x and then del x by should I have del x by del eta? Do I have del x by del eta? Del epsilon by del x. Del x. Where are they made? Del x. Del x. Del x. Del x. Del x. Del x. Yes. Del epsilon by del x. And then what will I have here? Del u by del eta by del x. I have to find this. So, okay, so let us write it. Del u by del x is equal to del u by del epsilon into del epsilon by del x plus del u by del eta into del eta by del x, right? Yeah. So I have del epsilon by del x and I should have del eta by del x, right? What half? What half? half. <coughs> okay. So 
when we <coughs> define our j inverse, j11 should be representing this, right? And so j was what? J was del epsilon by del, del x by del epsilon, right? Del x by del epsilon, <coughs> and del x by del eta, and del y by del epsilon, and del y by del eta, right? So J inverse, so then I should write here J11, right? Okay? And here I should write J12. Okay? Then I don't need to multiply with Bs. So 0, 0. Now tell me the component for second line, second row. Second row, may I need del u by del y. Okay? So, what do I need? Del eta by del y. Del eta by del y. Del eta by del y. So, then that will be j22. And then what else I need? Is that del eta by del y? Or is that what I need? So now we have to write that also. So del u by del y I need, right? So that will be del u by del epsilon into del epsilon by del y, right? Plus del u by del eta into del eta by del y. Right? So, del epsilon by del y is here. So, inverted will be j21. Right? So, I will have j21 here and j22 there. And then I will have 0, 0. Okay? So u khatam ho gaya, or b chahiye. So same thing I have to do on the other side. So here I will have 0, 0, j11, j12, j21, j22, and 0, and 0. Okay? So now I am getting this. And why am I calculating this? Huh? Where do I need this? So now I have to define strain. My purpose is to find out strain first, right? <coughs> so what will be strain? Strain will be epsilon xx, epsilon y1, and epsilon xy. Okay? So ye kaise milega mere ko? So this I need to find out from del u by del x, del u by del y, del v by del x, and del v by del y. Isse chahiye wo. Okay? So how will I get it? How will I get epsilon x? Something multiplied with this. Right? So how do I get epsilon xx? Epsilon xx is simply this. Epsilon xx is del u by del x. Right? So that is 1, 0, 0, 0. Then, epsilon y, y is just this. So what will I have? 0, 1, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0, 0. Then what will I have in the last row? Abhi batao 0, 1, 0, 1. 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. 0, 0, 0. Half. Pura bolo, pura bolo, jaldi bolo. 0, 0, half, half. Kato number is there. 1, 1, 1, maybe kato. Tum bolo.
derivatives of displacements <coughs> by del epsilon and then what do I have del u by del eta and then I need del v by del epsilon and del v by del eta this and every u and v's are n1 u1 n2 u2 n3 u3 and so on okay so this i need to express in terms of a column vector <coughs> which will have u1 sorry did here get u1 v1 u2 v2 u3 v3 u4 and v4 okay so del u by del epsilon so i can write u is equal to <coughs> n1 u1 plus n2 u2 plus n3 u3 plus n4 u4 correct tum kuch likh nahi raha you are correcting it be described like this now i want to find out del u by del epsilon so i that i can write as del n1 <coughs> by del epsilon u1 plus del n2 by del epsilon and blah blah okay so what kind of matrix i need to write here so i need to write del n1 by del epsilon and then zero because v1 se multiply nahi karna hai okay then i need del n2 by del epsilon and then zero and then del n3 by del epsilon and zero abhi space nahi hai 
So del n4 by del epsilon n0. Tyler over here. Uvan again. Del u by del epsilon again. Now I need del u by del eta. So what that will be? Del n1 by del eta. All the terms are Multiply you see over. First, third, fifth, and so on. Okay. So pile the zero zero bit have the zero something, zero something, then zero something and zero. Abhi idhar kya aega? Del n1 by del eta, del n2 by del eta. Okay. Third me kya aega? Zero. Yes. So zero del n1 by del then eta kya aega? Epsilon. Okay, and these will be multiplied by these. So that's why we have zero something zero something zero something. Okay, and then the last one will also be this. And this thing is just getting repeated for two, three, and four. Okay. So this is one, two, three, four. Four cross eight. Okay. Done. So now I got this. Which I needed here. Here. So here I will have that. Del n1 by del epsilon. Then 0. Then del n1. Sorry. Then 0. And then also 0. So del n1 by del epsilon. Del n1 by del eta. 0, 0. And so on. So that matrix will come here. Okay. So let me call it some matrix. What should I call it? Del matrix. Okay. So that will become now del matrix into U1, V1, U2, V2, U3, V3, U4, V4. And after doing all this, I will get square. <coughs> okay? In our one page summary of this course, I wrote epsilon is equal to B matrix into the nodal values of displacement. So, this three matrices multiplied together is B matrix. And we will use this B matrix also in stiffness two times. We have B transpose B into B. Right? So we need to find out this matrix. This into that into that. Huh? Yeah? Del matrix. Do it. So you will get J21. So now we have these two gone. Now multiply this one with this one. Del matrix. Abhi batao kya hai? Multiply this one with that del matrix. Koi likhna piya tha. जिन लोगों ने नहीं लिखा वो लोग नहीं कर पाए। By del epsilon del n1 by del eta zero zero del n1 by del sorry del n2 okay and then here you have zero del n2 by del eta and then here you have del n1 by del epsilon del n1 by del eta and we'll have 0, 0 here and so on. 3, 4 will be equal to multiply. What do you want to do? Then we'll have 4, 6, 4, 6, 4, 6, 4, 6, 4. Okay, so we see something here today. Let's see. Thank you.
Anyway, so, so everything in this root is in the form of symbol. So eta and epsilon is E and N. Then you have U1, V1, U2, V2, and all those. And then you have coordinates of the element x1, x2, x3, x4. Okay? And then you have shape functions, and these shape functions are valid for the kind of numbering I have done there. So n1 will be this. So n1, n2, n3, n3. Okay? So once you do that, we can define x <coughs> and y as a function of n1, x1, n2, x2, and so on. Okay? So that is here in this line. And then y's are defined, and then the Jacobian is defined. So it's simple as. Okay? And then there is inverse Sir. of j. Sir? Yeah? No, j is equal to. Everything is in the form of whatever we have done today. Okay? So A is A is this matrix, this one. Okay? And G is that bigger N matrix. So our B matrix will be what? So I can define B is like a sun make and then the new identity. What? So D by D D by D by by del D by del X, del V by del Y. So one will be here, na? One will be there, no? That is what you are telling. Uh, right. So 0, 0, 1. So abhi ye change ho So then I will have nothing here, nothing in the second one. Then I will have J21 and J22, right? In the last two columns. So 0, 0, J21 and J22, right? J two one J two two. Okay. So is this same? J two one J two two and J two two. No, no. J two one J two two. J one one J one two. Okay. And so B matrix will be A into G. And if I run it, then if I write B is what? Okay. Just multiply this. Green value, right? Okay. So now let us use Chadru Patala and Belu Gundu for one example and let us see whatever we have done is there a mistake or not okay so let us take one example now shown in figure e 7.1 i don't know where that is but there are some inputs so e is there which is 30 into 10 to the power 6 psi mu is equal to 0.3 and then I have u nodal vector and that is 0 0 0 0.002 then I have 0 0.003 then I have 0 0.006 and 0. 0, 0, 3, 2, <coughs> and I have 0 and 0. So this is my u nodal, and we have to find out <coughs> the Jacobian matrix, we have to find out the B matrix, and we have to find out stress at epsilon is equal to 0, 
and eta is equal to zero. So at, at this point, we have to find out what is the value of stress. Okay. And now we need to look at the element which is in figure E seven point one. Where is E seven point one? So the element is this and the coordinates are 0, 0, 2, 0, 2, 1 and 0, 1. Do we need any other information? I don't think so. Right? I think we have all the info, right? Okay. So, oh, I should also write the answer first and then we can check if we are getting it right or not. Okay. So, Jacobian, I think they have written A matrix. <coughs> I don't know what is A matrix. So A matrix, they have written as 1 divided by 1 by 2 into half 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1 half and 0. They have asked Jacobian and writing A matrix. And then they have B matrix also. And B <coughs> matrix, they have found that this point. And so the answer is 1 by 4, 0, 1 by 4, 0, 1 by 4, uh, 0, minus 1 by 4, and 0. And then 0. Half, then one by four minus one by two. This is third one. Yeah. We have zero here. Minus one by four minus one by two. <coughs> and then we have zero minus half one by four. So minus half 1 by 4 and then we have 0 half and then we have half, half 1 by 4. So this is the B matrix they are getting. x1, x2, x3, x4 and we have E1, E2 and blah blah also. No, no, we have so run here so b is equal to a into g okay and now i need to substitute yeah, substitute in b but i have to define something no? so eta with zero x1 is 0, right? Mm -hmm. Then x2 is 2. 2? 2 is 2. Eh? 2 is 2. Galat man pun na. 2 is 2. Yes, two. x2 is 2. Then, then x4 is 0. zero. Kahani to bhi baki hai. Y1, Y2 bhi karna hai. Y1 Y2 Y3 Y4 Done. So what will we get at the end? Minus 1 by 4 0 minus half <coughs> And then we have to also code the stiffness in this Okay so keep it symbolic so that whenever we want we can plug and do. Okay, 